Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Ninja 4 Quart Air Fryer. So I really love this air fryer. I'm first going to kind of show you the features and how big it is, and then I'm actually going to cook some fish and some tater tots. Okay, so it's very simple to operate. You're going to open this up. There's your cooking surface. It's got a fan and a heating element right above there, but this works really well. It's got a little tray that comes out that keeps your food off the bottom. And this is exactly about eight and a quarter inches and depth wise, you're looking at about three and three quarters. This is like a non-stick coating that cleans up very easy. And then it slides in and out very easy. Okay, so let's take a look at the control panel. It's got a power button. So you first turn it on, that kind of turns the display on. Now you're gonna pick either air fryer, roast, reheat or dehydrate. I typically use air fryer. You can change the temperature from 400 all the way down to 300 and then you can do the time. 20, these are minutes, 22 minutes, 19, 18 minutes. And then when you're ready to start, you just hit the start button and it kind of beeps at you to let you know. And then that's the countdown from your time that you set. Now, if you want to stop it, just hit pause, and that kind of pauses it. You can kind of open up and see what's going on. When you're all done, just hit the power button. Okay, so let's cook some golden crispy crowns. It's very simple. You're just going to open it up, kind of put some in. Make sure they're kind of spread around. You're going to close it. You're going to turn it on. Now, I like this little sticker on the side. I'm going to cook mine on 350, so set the temperature in about 20 minutes. All right, then I'm going to hit the start button. So we'll kind of see how these do along the way. So the machine is relatively quiet. The air is going to get sucked in up here, so don't restrict this area up here. And you do get just a little, the air coming out of the back here is pretty hot, but it's not real forceful, but it is really hot. I really love the small footprint of this air fryer. So yeah, it's around 10 and a half inches. Height wise, you're almost about 13 and a half inches. Okay, so it's been about six minutes. Let's check on them, see how they're doing. Yeah, they're starting to sizzle. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, halfway through. Let's pause it. Yeah, they're really starting to crisp up. So a pretty neat feature about this is, so say, you're opening this up and kind of checking it and you're saying, oh, I'm, it doesn't need the full 20 minutes. You can change the time in midstream. So say I just want to go down to one minute now. It'll accept it and then it changes the, the time and then it will shut off. So that's a pretty neat feature. And I can do the same for the temperature too. I can turn the temperature up towards the end if I wanted to. Okay, so we're coming down here. We got four, two seconds left. Okay, so it's going to turn off, it's going to say the word end, and it kind of beeps at you a little bit. All right, so let's see. Yeah, these look really good and very simple to use. Cleanup's going to be very simple. This is very hot, so let it cool down for a little bit. Yeah, but these are exactly how I like them. A little crispy, but yet done perfectly. I love this air fryer. Okay, so cleanup was very simple. I rinsed it out, dried it off. I've got a piece of frozen salmon in here that's already seasoned, and we're gonna cook it. Okay, so let's slide in it easy. Let's turn it on. Let's do air fry. And again, I like the reference of this little sticker on the side, so 390. Let's do, it says 10 to 13 minutes. Let's do 13, and I can change it along the way. So I just hit start. Okay, so it's been about halfway through. I've got a temperature probe. Let's check the temperature of the salmon. So we're at a 115. We need to get that to about 145. Okay, so there's about three minutes left. Let's take a look. 140. 156. Yeah, I'd say it's done. Let's go ahead and hit stop. Okay, so let's take the fish out. Non-stick. Okay, so let's cut it open and see how it did. Oh, that's a very good piece of salmon, yeah. Just right. And again, hit the power switch, turn it off. 
Cleanup is not going to be a problem. That's a non-stick surface. There's just so many possibilities with these uh, air fryers. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.